Good morning, Trollstigen. Morning. Alright, we are about to be on the road, so the plan is to continue following the road I'm on, Trollstigsvägen, and uh, get down to the E39 there somehow. Now I'm not sure uh, if there are any ferries or crap. If we zoom in, it looks like a lot of the roads just kind of quit and then continue. I'm afraid there might be ferries, which are boring and expensive probably. But uh, we'll see, I'll just. Uh, See which route the GPS suggests for this target. Also, I'll put a target closer to where I am and uh, just uh, go back on the E39 from which I came and kind of go that way to navigate my way down towards Bergen, which is not too far away apparently. Finally, some sunshine. 130 watts, that's not bad. This is an 11 euro burger and I think this is the first actually price worthy worthwhile food I've had for fine Norway. It's from a I don't know a stat oil station, it's called the Super Burger. And this is this thing is massive. <laughs> Probably massive. Good job stat oil. Well, that could have gone better. Toothbrush managed to lean against the door and I didn't consider that when I opened it. Oh well. Ah, that's a little break in there. I have no idea. I'm like a few hundred kilometers north of Bergen along the E39. I have no idea where I'm going or where I've <coughs> how I've ended up here. Oh dear, now the ambulance coming to get me. At least it's not the cops. But uh, the GPS has had some issues navigating and I'm hoping that I'm on the right route because it seems as if I'm not then I'm going to be like a few hundred kilometers wrong. Uh, but I guess we'll see. I'll probably be able to catch a ferry or something if that's the case. The Norwegian coast is just so insane. Roads just uh, lead to a little place out in nowhere and then they can, they can just stop. They just, they don't go around because they can't because, well, the land kind of ends. So when I was at uh, Trollstigen, I was smart enough to load up all my water bottles which were uh, opened with proper uh, Trollstigen uh, uh, stream water and I stuck them in my cooler so now like a day later and many hundreds of kilometers away I've still got cold stream water. At the sunken pirate ship make a u-turn this is the first 20 plus degree day I've seen in quite a while and 
I forgot my clothes. This is going to be very, very cold. Well, it's not too bad. Probably about 10 degrees. Ah, actually quite pleasant. Probably didn't want to stay here too long, though. Gonna wash up. Get several days worth of crap off of me. Oh, there we go. That wasn't too bad. Although, towards the end I started feeling a bit dizzy, probably from the cold. Because uh, once you get like eight, more than ten meters or so, it does get uh, quite cold. But uh, right here by, by, by the shore, it's really quite pleasant. About 15 degrees probably. But yeah, further out, you start getting into less pleasant temperatures. But it's uh, certainly a pleasant view. Well, that's some timing. Just came aboard. I was just about to leave. Uh, of all the things that could go wrong, now the time lapse camera stopped working. I've got no idea what happened, uh, except that the server ran its uh, C drive full, and that seems to have absolutely made astrophotography tool flip out. It just starts leaking memory the moment you launch it now, and I've got no idea how to remedy that. I've tried reinstalling it. Ugh. And there we go. I just had to absolutely manually uninstall the software and it started working again. That, that had me worried. This time lapse camera is everything. This is the most violent downhill yet. I'm engine braking in fourth and we're doing 90. We're going uphill in third gear, flawed. We've been doing this for like two minutes now. If I shift into fourth, it won't maintain any speed. I have to be in third. And it's a tunnel. So you can't see shit right now, but uh, what's going on is a big tunnel into Bergen was closed. And uh, me and these guys in front of me had to take this little tiny one lane road up and down the mountain. And uh, now someone's uh, met us for and uh, well you know, by mob rule he's going to have to go backwards there he is taking a bit of a break <laughs> boss odd 